Wendy Williams has recently snagged herself a brand new $4.5 million apartment in the heart of New York City. The purchase came just weeks before she announced she was taking a break from the Wendy Williams show, and the luxury building boasts amenities like chalet fireplaces, a full pet spa, and much more. Wendy was searching for a new home after selling her New Jersey mansion last year, and has since been renting a stunning bachelorette pad in Manhattan for a whopping 15 k per month. Today, we're gonna check out all of Wendy's homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In summer 2020, Wendy finally got rid of her suburban family home for $1.4 million after a year on the market. She was hoping to sell it for $1.9 million, even after purchasing it for much more back in 2009 for $2.1 million when she was with her ex-husband, Kevin Hunt. Hunter. Either way, the motivated sellers agreed to split the profits from the home sale. Wendy moved out of the mansion last year and has been living in her 15k per month rental in the city since then, which boasts views of the Hudson River. Anyway, her former estate was located in the suburban hood of Livingston, New Jersey, about 20 miles from the busy city center, and it sat on nearly an acre of land behind secure gates at the end of a horseshoe-shaped driveway. Past the landscaped grounds, the interiors of Wendy's mansion spanned over 5,700 square feet of space, with a bonus 2,500 square feet of finished basement space. The gorgeous home offers a double height foyer with a sophisticated aesthetic, including a winding grand staircase and black and white checkerboard flooring underfoot. There are five bedrooms, four full baths, and two half baths throughout, over three floors, and this spacious home has a mix of both a simple design with glitz and glamour, as you might expect of Wendy. There were roomy common spaces within the New Jersey home, including a chef's kitchen, decked out in a fresh white theme with light hardwood underfoot, and a few petite sparkly chandeliers. Personally, I would love to be cooking in this elegant kitchen. Even the breakfast nook has its own chandelier. The home offered multiple formal and casual living and entertaining rooms, some cozier than others, and there was even a second level den with massive skylight overhead, which looked pretty impressive. In the basement, another living area boasted a dropped ceiling along with a wet bar. Other features of Wendy's former home included an office library with floor to ceiling bookshelves and beautiful cozy fireplaces throughout. Aside from the guest and family bedrooms, Wendy's former master suite was complete with a private sitting room. Not one, but two walk-in closets, as well as an upscale marble bath with steam shower. At the back of the mansion, you'll find a sprawling stone terrace with picture-perfect plants and landscaping surrounding it, as well as a grassy lawn that leads down to a densely wooded area. Now, the grounds might not offer a pool, but there is a large sports court out here. These days, Wendy has been sky high in Manhattan, leasing an apartment for a whopping 15k per month. Her unit is located on a mid-level floor of the luxury 64 floor 50 West building in Manhattan's financial district. She's given us glimpses of her large space on Instagram, but now we've got all the details. Her bougie apartment spans 2,403 square feet of space with two floors, three bedrooms, one of which is on the main level and three baths throughout. Wendy's master suite also offers pretty views of the Hudson River, so it seems like the perfect location. On the main level, the home has a double height living and dining area with 20 foot ceilings, as well as an open kitchen with custom walnut cabinets, granite counters with waterfall island and top of the line appliances. Some of the add-ons here include a five burner gas stove, wine fridge and much more. The kitchen also faces a massive wall of windows for plenty of natural light and city views. Stairs between the entryway and kitchen lead to the upper floor, which boasts a glass railing to overlook the lower level. The second bedroom is up here with its own ensuite, as well as a small hallway with laundry room. At the end of the hall is Wendy's master suite, which she's painted a moody black color and has decor such as bronze Buddha statue, a mirror chest of drawers, and a flat screen TV, while one wall has floor to ceiling windows with those river views. Her luxury five fixture ensuite is attached with floating backlit marble vanity, heated floors, and an electronic toilet. There's both an extra large tub and a separate shower here too. 
The other bathroom here has a marble wet wall and floor along with a custom vanity. Wendy has shared a photo of her bathroom in the past and even called it her sanctuary. Listing photos of the unit show a crisp white color scheme with contemporary decor, but we know Wendy loves black walls and introduced them into this apartment as well. Thanks to her Instagram post, we can see the star hasn't given up her love of dark shaded walls and unique decorations. Wendy's also shared a photo of her living room shortly after moving in. It has black walls and white wooden flooring, and she's added character with bold furniture, including a button back cobalt blue armchair and a massive multicolored painting. She's also placed a variety of ornaments and vases on a retro mirror unit beneath her TV. In more recent news, Wendy has just invested in a swanky new $4.5 million apartment in the city, so no more leasing when she moves in here. Located in the heart of Manhattan, her new apartment is another high-rise unit in a brand new building with many luxurious amenities available to the star. This building is the Layton Residences, located in the Upper East Side neighborhood of New York, and these new homes offer both interior elegance and an outdoor space as well. The building has 38 picture-perfect residences, which each have an entire floor of the condominium to themselves, and offer anywhere from one bedrooms to four bedrooms. The well-lit units in the Layton offer floor-to-ceiling windows, natural materials, plenty of marble accents, and heated floors throughout. Wendy's apartment is said to be 2,400 square feet of space with three beds, three baths, and features like an open plan kitchen with wine fridge and granite counters. The amenities in this building are equally impressive with features like a brandy room, a solarium, chalet fireplaces, full pet spa and grooming center, lap pool, sauna and storage spaces, as well as much more. Access to the residences is via private elevator and security at this property is among the best which you might expect. Wendy's decision to buy her new crib happened weeks before producers of her show revealed the host has been battling health issues and that her talk show would be taking a hiatus. So what better place to take a break? All right, so now we've checked out where talk show host Wendy Williams calls home, including her newest purchase in Manhattan that was just built. We also saw her former New Jersey family mansion and her upscale 15K per month rental in the city where she currently lives. Out of the three residences, which one would you prefer to live at? I think I like her former mansion the best, but it's hard to choose as all the homes are super fancy and welcoming. Not to mention the amenities at her new building. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Wendy's homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.